Well, good morning. The first autonomous self-driving cars won't be here until about 2025. Between now and then, we'll start to see lots of features appearing on cars that look like they're self-driving. In fact, there are some cars in today's showrooms that have some self-driving features. Volvo, Mitsubishi, Cadillac and Acura have all included something called front mitigation avoidance systems on their new vehicles. If the vehicle calculates you're going to get into an accident, it can brake and come to a full stop or warn you so you can respond. The latest company to add this feature is Acura on their new MDX. It works. We've tested it. We've even tested Volvo's pedestrian detection system on a human being, and I'm glad to report that the Volvo came to a full stop automatically before hitting our producer. The new Acura TL can recognize the driver by the key they have in their pocket. Before you get to your car, it will adjust your seat, select your favorite radio station, set the climate to the way you like it, and even adjust your outside mirrors to your settings. The Cadillac XTS has built-in vibrations in the seats to warn the driver about possible problems. If you wander out of your lane on the highway, the car will vibrate the seat to get your attention so you can correct the error. And the closest thing we have to autonomous driving is in the new Acura MDX. If you wander to the edge of your lane without a signal, the vehicle will automatically correct you and steer you back to the correct position in the road. The car knows when it needs to step in and help you. Now we should see the first semi-autonomous cars appearing on the roads of North America in around 2016. But as an interesting side note, Nevada has actually issued autonomous license plates to some companies developing self-driving cars in that state. With the future of the self-driving car, I'm Nick Miles.